Hello and welcome to this video on eddy current breaking simulation inside EMS for SOLIDWORKS. In this particular example, we will see how an arrangement of magnets can bring about breaking in a revolving disk. Here I have a disk that is made of copper, but in general you can have any disk that's a good conductor of electricity which is spinning and you can damp it or break it using an arrangement of permanent magnets as you see here. In this particular example, assume that this copper disk is rotating at a particular speed or RPM about its axis and suddenly we bring an arrangement of permanent magnets in its vicinity as shown here. The objective of this simulation is to understand how long does it take for the disk to come to a complete stop and also we can measure the amount of rotation the disk undergoes by the time it comes to a complete stop. This kind of tells us the effectiveness of the braking employed using the permanent magnets. Let us see how one can do this simulation in EMS. EMS is an add-in product to SOLIDWORKS. As a result, you can do all your simulations and manage them inside the SOLIDWORKS. Let me now go to the EMS Manager tab where you will study each of these simulations. For example, I have a simulation titled Initial Velocity. Now this is a coupled simulation to SOLIDWORKS motion. So we will do an EM coupled motion simulation to study eddy current braking. The first step involved is creating a study. Now once you create a study, you have an option to couple this EM study with SOLIDWORKS motion where you will select the SOLIDWORKS motion study that you are going to use for this coupled simulation. And we will use a transient magnetic study for EMS. Once you create a study, then you will have to define the materials for the various components. EMS has an easy to use material library that one can use to define the materials for various components. This material library is also completely customizable. In this particular example, we know that the disc, a rotating disc here highlighted is made of copper. We have a back iron that takes care of the magnetic flux circuit and we have a series of permanent magnets as you see here and as I zoom into these magnets, the directions of the magnets are denoted by the arrows. To specify the direction of a particular magnet, it's extremely easy. You can go ahead and click on the coercivity direction and EMS allows you to specify the direction of magnet in either a global or a local coordinate system. In this case, we use the global coordinate system of SOLIDWORKS. And then once that is determined, you can use Cartesian cylindrical or a spherical coordinate system to establish the direction. Once the materials have been assigned, then we will have to go to the motion study to assign the initial RPM of the spinning disk. So here I have SOLIDWORKS motion where I tell the program how long I want the simulation to run. In this case, we will run the simulation for 200 milliseconds because I have no idea at the beginning how long it will take for the braking to be achieved. Also, we will incorporate a braking torque and this braking torque value is going to come from EMS. Now here we just set a dummy value of 0 Newton meter as the braking torque. And then finally we will assign an initial velocity or an initial RPM to this rotating disk. Here we assign a 1000 RPM rotation on this disk. So the disk 
is rotating with an rpm of 1000 before the arrangements of magnet is brought into its vicinity once the magnets are brought into its vicinity its speed reduces and gets to zero rpm which is what we will try to see in this simulation once the motion study is complete then we come to the part where we request the program ems program to compute the torque acting on the rotating disc here the ems program computes the torque acting on the rotating disc about its torque center and it transfers the value of that torque to the solidworks motion torque that we set up now this torque acts as the braking torque and this is largely responsible for breaking the spinning disc so we started with defining the study then we coupled it with solidworks motion then we assigned materials to the various components then we went to solidworks motion to define the initial velocity and also the total time of computation now ems is a finite element based simulation product and as a result we actually have what is called as a finite element mesh that is carefully and automatically created by the ems product one can view the finite element mesh as you see here one can also apply mesh controls to vary the mesh in various parts of the assembly let me go ahead and hide the mesh once the simulation has been completed we can now go and view the results most of the results that's of interest to us is in the result table so let me go ahead and double click on the result table the first thing we can understand is the velocity and we are going to see how the velocity of the disk changes with time so this plot tells you how the velocity reduces from 6000 rpm all the way to zero rpm in about 60 to 80 milliseconds so the total time of 200 millisecond turned out to be a good guess so if the velocity reduction has not been achieved then we will have to rerun the program using a larger time step now during this velocity reduction to zero rpm if we are interested in understanding how much of a rotation the disk goes through so then we can plot the angular displacement of the disk and you can see that somewhere between uh, 150 and 170 degrees is the rotation by the time the velocity damps down to close to zero finally one can study the braking torque and the braking torque here is plotted as a function of time you can see how the torque the negative value which brings about the break um, increases in its value and uh, then it slowly decreases till the braking torque comes to a value of zero by the time the disk has completely stopped for any of these quantities ems can list those values which you can export to a text file or an excel file one can also visualize field results in ems for example the eddy currents in my rotating disk which brings about the stoppage of the disk is an interesting quantity to visualize this is a vector plot of the eddy currents that are set up on the disk due to the magnets and i can also go ahead and animate the rotation of the disk so that one can visualize how the magnets impact the rotation of the disk and how the disk comes to a complete stop and during this rotation we will visualize the changes in the eddy current of the disk thus we have seen how ems can be used to simulate problems involving eddy current breaking thank you for watching this video